Over the past 30 years or so, colour morphs have become increasingly popular in the reptile keeping hobby. Many commonly kept species of snakes and lizards are known by several different morphs. Some species, such as the leopard gecko, have over a hundred different morphs. But nothing beats the ball python, with an estimated 4,000 morphs known to exist, created by combining different genes. In amphibians, things are generally somewhat simpler, but some species, such as the Pac-Man frog and the axolotl, still have several different colour morphs to choose from. The crested newt species are known by comparatively few morphs. But there are a few very fascinating and beautiful crested newt morphs that we'll explore in this video. The first we see here is the albino. Albinos are perhaps the most well-known colour morph in the animal kingdom. Often thought of as white animals, albino amphibians often have a beautiful golden coloration, such as these golden albino great crested newts, Triteris cristatus. With a pinkish base colour, they have markings which appear as yellow or orange depending on the lighting and the animal's diet. Albinism only affects melanin in the animal's skin, so the yellow and orange pigments are still visible. The most colourful animals tend to be those fed on carotenoid rich diets. The eyes of the albino are pinkish in colour and the belly is a yellow orange coloration. Albinos have occasionally been recorded in other crested newt species, but the great crested newt is the only one that is kept in captivity with any regularity. Next we have what is probably the most commonly kept crested newt morph. It is known by two names, either the leucistic or the flavistic Italian crested newt, Tritorus carnifex. At first glance the leucistic may appear similar to the albino, but look again and you can see the small grey spots that shows that this animal does have melanin, just a reduced amount. Leucism occurs when a genetic condition causes colour pigment to fail to migrate to receptors in the animal's skin. The grey spots along the animal's side and its normal eye coloration distinguishes it from the albino. The alternative term, flavistic, means yellowish in colour. So this animal is a yellowish leucistic. It normally has a pale orange belly with greyish spots. Another colour morph known in the Italian crested newt is the melanoid. Melanoids have plain dark coloration to their skin and a dark glazy look to their eyes. Melanoids are also known to occur in the southern crested newt, Tritorus carolinii, as we see in this young male. Melanoids lack the yellow or orange coloration that normally occurs and have an abundance of melanin in its place. Perhaps the most unusual feature of the melanoid is its completely patternless underside. As far as we are aware, none of these colour morphs have yet been combined through captive breeding, but it seems likely that this could happen in the future, as has happened with so many other species, such as the axolotl. The axolotl has a golden albino, very similar to is found in the crested newts, and also a melanoid. In the axolotl, these two morphs have been combined to produce a new morph, the melanoid albino. And something similar could be on the horizon for the crested newts. As always, thank you very much for watching, and if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button now.